Hey guys, I know I made a video not uh, too long ago about uh, Katie Dids, but uh, otherwise known as jar flies. So I caught this one in a jar. Jar fly, get it? Anyway, I got it in this old sal uh, salsa jar that that was just sitting in the garage, is all clean and everything. But I'm going to try to get him to work. Can you see him? His wingspan is pretty big. I don't know if you've ever seen one where you live at or not. They might not have them, but they're pretty prominent around here. He's pretty active. I'm going to let him go, but I just wanted to show him to you. I found him on the driveway just sitting here this morning and I didn't know if he was about dead or what and uh, I seen an ant that was circling and I thought boy something they're fixing to get a hold of him before he realizes what happened so I found this jar as I said and stuck him in there probably saved his life because those ants will get a hold of him get you going but I don't know if he was asleep this morning or what, but he appears to be wide awake now, so I'll sit him over here in the shade, and I'll turn him loose. As you recall, they just come out once every 17 years, and, and uh, I'll just, well, I'll try to set him, I'll set him right here. There he is. He's in the back of old Dookie here, and maybe he'll uh, can stay away from the ants long enough. Maybe he'll sleep it off or whatever. But he should be okay. I don't know if you can hear him in the trees. There's a lawnmower going, but there's a bunch going in and making racket in the trees now. So that's the kind of sounds he makes. Pretty oddball looking, aren't they? There he went. Okay. He's still in good shape and good health and still got time to maybe reproduce and uh, start up their own little family in 17 years from now. If we're all still alive, maybe we can catch one of their offspring. Appreciate you watching the video. I'll see you later.